ten dollars. Let's see what's inside. Storage auction day here at the channel, and I purchased a unit for a whopping ten dollars. Now, brace yourself because this unit. I don't think there are words that can describe it, so you will just have to watch for yourself. <laughs> you got nothing to buy you. Nothing. <laughs> One of the jobs, though, which would I have to do is clean carts, and that's. Parts. I have to help. I have to talk to my boss about that because all these old guys are taking advantage of me, of my good nature. They get tipped and I don't get any money in. That kind of crap. According to the uh, list here, it says box spring toys luggage. You saw what it is, $10, anybody, 10, 10, 10, 10, go 10, get five. Five, four, a bid, five, 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 now 10, five to bid, now 10, taking a chance at five, now 10. Anybody else at 10, 10, 10, go 10, last call, five to bid, now 10, 10, 10, go 10. What's your number, Jim? One bucks. 10 bucks, what's the number? No, it's five bucks. Five, five. Five dollars, 105. 105. Sorry. Now lift your fingers and hand it back to me. <laughs> I should have laughed. I'm in the high risk area. Ford, anybody go five? Five to bid now, five, five, ten. Ten, fifteen, twenty. 15 to bid now, 20, 20, go 20. I have 15 bid 20, 20, go 20. 15 bid 20. Last call. Mark, you bought it, $15. What's your number? We only have nine. <laughs> Cooler and purses, according to the inventory list. 10. Any interest at 10? 10? 10, 15, 10 bid 15, go 15. I have 10 bid 15, last call. 10 to bid 15, 15, go 15. You bought it, $10, 104, $10. Alrighty, not the best lighting, but we will work with what we have. So, $10, let's see what's inside. So, easy to clean, that's for sure. We have the cooler purse, another purse. Oh, what's that? Looks like a toy framed piece. So I'll bring these out so you can see a little bit better, but $10, let's we'll see what we get. Alrighty, let's start with the bag. Well, cotton balls, uh, unused aluminum foil, I don't need to go shopping for a while, shower cap, a baked apple pie from McDonald's in case I get hungry. <laughs> There's some lighters, splash gum, thank goodness there's no water in there, oh some Listerine, after I, after I finish my apple pie, silly string, this is interesting, <laughs> fabric softener sheets, Steel wool, pre pants, Levi's, I think they are. So far, we're 
Oh my gosh, another one. Another cigarette machine. I found one of these in the other unit. That's really funny. Uh oh, what's in here? Another lock. $7.99. And shampoo. Ugh. Use shampoo. Well, first bag is an assortment of. This is what it smells. Crystals. What's this? A little radio. And paperwork. Alright. So, on to the purses. A Bible with lottery tickets in there. Scratch offs. Did we win? 20 numbers. 20. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> That'd be something. 10, 11, 27. Don't believe so. Oh, because I bought it. There's not much to do with this one. <laughs> People pay to store certain things, you know, especially random things like this. Because I don't know how much these units cost, but so far I don't think it's worth what the items are. So a school pack, a diaper, battery. No idea. Light? I'm not sure what that is. More pills. Tea strainer. Coffee mug. Thank goodness there's no food in there. Or coffee. Empty boxes. Biohazard bag. Oh, great. Just what I want. <laughs> mm. Never again. <laughs> Maybe the garbage can will not have garbage in it. We shall see. Garbage, the Wawa bag. Garbage. Um, more of their boxes from their medicine. Oh, this was a flash. Crazy flashlight. A tossing purse with more garbage. Wixella. 
no idea. Another phone, it looks like. Ooh, is that an iPhone? No. Here's the, oh, it's just an empty frame. No artwork. We have an umbrella. Empty bag. lantern and I think more pills mm -hmm. Omnestron I don't even know Oxycarba Zepon that's a trophy well I got a garbage can <laughs> I think I'll get my $10 back off the cooler. There are no antiques in this unit. Let's see what's in the cooler. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. We have more food. Christmas tree candle. coffee mug. Like the bottom is filled with candy. Trick or treat bag. This is awful. There's nail polish. There's just lifesavers all over. Not sure what happened here, but wow, that was a quick unit, and we found food and pills. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I'll get my money back on this cooler. At least it was only ten dollars, but that just goes to show you that sometimes units, you know, people bid and bid, and there could be nothing in there. And then you wonder why people spend money to store things like this. You don't know their situation. You don't know why they had to put things into the unit. But uh, this is a real storage unit with real things. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, if I'm hungry, I have an apple pie and some lifesavers. But I think I will pass. And let's open and slam your car door as I'm trying to film. Every time. Like they know. All right, I think the coast is clear. This unit pretty much was the question of why do people pay to store things? Will I make my $10 back? The cooler and the frames, that was it. I just, I bought the unit because there were the, the bags and everyone should know how I'm fond of trash bags. But I thought, you know, maybe there's something in the cooler. Maybe there's something in the garbage can. And then you open it up and pretty much it's just trash. McDonald's apple pies. <laughs> uneaten. <laughs> the yogurt cups. And then the cooler was just filled with the candy. There were the Lifesaver gummies all over all encrusted to the bottom there was something in there that actually leaked because when I got the cooler home the bottom was this like purple mixture of water juice I don't know what it was then there was that bag of candy that was just all stuck together and some of it was even opened why the only thing that I can think of is that the people had stored other things in there they took out what they wanted and they said you know what I don't want to pay for the rest of this or I don't have you know my garbage went out the other day I don't want to haul this trash back and throw it out so I'm just not going to pay on my unit and it can just sit there because I can't understand why anyone would store those things it, it baffles my mind 
And that's a question that is very common amongst people that buy storage units. Some of it makes sense. You can you can see that perhaps someone moved or they had, you know, an antique store or some other kind of store or they needed a place to store their collection of, you know, their Avon bottles. I don't know. Some units make sense. Other units, you have no idea. It could be, whoa. <laughs> Those lantern flies. See ya, buddy. <laughs> We're gonna leave that in there because that's funny. <laughs> Maybe he had some advice on storage units, but anyway. You know, it could be, you know, there are evictions. People purchase a storage unit to put all of their stuff in while they're trying to find a new place to live. There are people that just store things because they don't have a room where they are living at. Then they move and they don't have room to take those items, so they abandon it or perhaps they pass away and their family does not want to deal with it. Their family might go and pull some things out that they want and leave the rest. Or, you know, there are other instant instances where they're, you know, they've, they've run into some trouble and they perhaps are incarcerated or even sick. And so, you know, they don't have the time to set up stuff to have a family member or a friend go and get their items out or even pay. But then there are other units like why why would you go and pay x amount of money per month to store just that so i i don't think that just those items were in there there had to be something else because in my mind i do not see why you would pay to store i wouldn't pay 10 bucks a month to store that stuff in there because that stuff can all just go right in the trash and i had a hard enough time selling that cooler because this isn't exactly like beach cooler weather <laughs> but man what an experience. And then trying to film as well. That's another thing with you know, doing storage units and putting them on YouTube. We not only have to try and finagle filming and showing things, either we don't show enough, we show too much, but then we also have to cooperate with the people that are moving in and out of a unit. So you're constantly having to deal with the noise light is also another situation and you know people moving so you have to be aware of that I guess that's fine when you have a unit and there's some really neat stuff but when you have a unit and it's McDonald's apple pies and and sticky lifesaver gummies boggles my mind thank goodness I did not spend more money on that well I wouldn't have because that would have been I don't know what I would have thought was in that cooler gold probably not <laughs> but you never know the reasons why people get a unit and then quote unquote abandon it or essentially just stop paying. You don't know the situation, you don't know the story. And in circumstances like this, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they put the apple pie away for <laughs> a rainy day and forgot about it. Maybe they bought it when they were trying to move into the unit. I have no idea, but. The mysteries of storage units and this one was was a big mystery because I I don't know why you'd pay to store those items did the storage facility remove things I don't know did they stage anything I don't know but I do know that if I see another unit like that I will not be buying it <laughs> It's still fun and just, you know, to show everyone what a real storage unit is like. They are not all filled to the brim with treasure. They are filled with old food instead. So thank you for joining me. Hopefully, if I'm able to bid on another storage unit, it will be just a tad more exciting than this one. But lesson learned, question is still unanswered why people pay to store certain things, and that's probably a question we will never know the definitive answer to. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more adventures here at Paper and Moose. If you are not subscribed, be sure that you click on that little subscribe button, button, icon, and this way you will be notified of any future storage units that I purchase. Hopefully they will be better. And auctions, estate sales, yard sales, rummage sales, if we have any, flea markets, and my history behind the paper episodes. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Hopefully if you bid on a storage unit, you will find something more than a McDonald's apple pie. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time.